Hello everyone, this is Abhishek Bagarwal. Welcome to Salesforce CPQ series. In this video, I am going to show you how to implement option price override pricing tool. So let's get it started. So here I have one product which is a bundle product, copy binding module. So option price override means if a product is under a specific bundle, then you are overriding the price of that product which is in the uh, price book okay so this is the product and if you will go to related you can see there are two product options high capacity toner cartridge and printer paper letter so i'm gonna go to high capacity toner cartridge product so this product's price book price is 250 as you can see in the price book its price is 250 dollar but when i am selecting copy binding module and i am use i'm uh, selecting high capacity toner cartridge product under this module then i want to sell it for 200 dollar so how can we do that so go to this product option and click add it so here uh, there is a field as unit price over here so in this field i'm just giving 200 and click save now let's see it uh, let's see it how it works so this is one of the codes click edit lines First, I'm going to select high capacity toner cartridge as a standalone product. So I'm going to click it, click select. So as you can see, its price is coming as $250. Now I'm going to select copy binding module. Click it, select it. And one quantity I'm keeping it as high capacity toner. So as you can see here, the price is changed. Here it is coming as $200. Click save. So here as you can see high capacity toner standalone price is $250. But when I am selling it inside the bundle product of copy binding module then its price coming it as $200. So that's how option price override works. If you like this video please like it and comment on it. For more videos like this, please subscribe my channel as Abhishek Bagherwa. Thank you.